Welcome to Electron Line. It turns out that back in the 19th century in London, there was a big epidemic of cholera, and people were dying left and right. There were cholera outbreaks on a regular basis, but in this particular case, by 1854, over a period of, few, of a few years, over 600 people had died from cholera. The prevailing theory was that from the leading doctors and scientists of London, that the problem was an airborne problem. There was some sort of particle in the air that was causing people to become sick. But there was a doctor, his name was, and try to figure out where I have written down his name. Um, yeah, there it is. <laughs> couldn't find him, and I couldn't remember his name. John Snow, who was also a physician, felt that it probably wasn't that it was airborne, that it was probably something to do with water contamination, but it had no way to prove it because at the time they didn't have the techniques to analyze the water. But he did have an idea. What he did was he started, he pulled out a map of London, he put down all the locations where the wells were located from which people drew their water, and then he put down a dot for every house where somebody had died from cholera. And sure enough, after he finished doing that, all the deaths were clustered around a single well. He told the city, he told them, why don't you shut down the well and see what happens? They, did, they went ahead and listened to him, they put a lock on the well, and sure enough, people stopped getting cholera and people stopped dying from that horrible disease. So notice that a simple, clear representation of the situation in a very nice scatter diagram, he was able to prove without actually knowing the real cause, just the connection to that water well that caused the deaths and the problem was solved. So you can see that statistics and representing data can have a tremendous influence on solving problems. And this was absolutely brilliant. I looked at it and go, wow, how can somebody have that kind of insight to use statistics to that particular way? So statistics can be very powerful. It can be misused but it can be beautiful when it's used appropriately. And so I call that the golden example of statistics.